Good evening YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I just want to put up another video showcasing another Aragon watch. And this is one that I've reviewed in the past. I will continue to review because I always seem to be adding one to my collection. Um, if you're not familiar with Aragon watches, uh, check them out. If you love Invicta, you will automatically buy an Aragon watch at some point. They're that awesome. They give you so much value, just like Invicta, and they're almost one of those untouchable watches out there for bang for the buck. Uh, they really are exceptional. My dad had turned me on to the brand Android, which was their old name, years ago, and I was so blown away, I just started following the watches, I started collecting the watches, and this one here is, again, my, I have two favorite Aragon watches in their whole lineup, and this is my second favorite. Um, it's right up there with my top. I would say these are my top two in no, no specific order. I like them equally as much, and this one here is called the Millipede, and there is no watch out there that looks like this. The only thing that has a band as somewhat as unique that I can kind of compare it to a little bit is some of your Oakley watches, which are outrageously expensive and definitely a uh, huge markup on those Oakley watches, like the Minute Minute Repeater, I think it's called. They make the one called the Revolver, I think. Uh, definitely a watch that I've always been fascinated with, but for what they cost, I would never spend the money. So these watches here you can get from as low as $150 all the way up to about $600, depending on which one you get. And I have three. I own two of them. I own uh, one, another one under the uh, Android name, which I'm not going to show you today because you can't find it anywhere anymore. It was the big 55 millimeter version. When they went over to uh, the new name Aragon, they started making this watch in a smaller version, which is, again, not small, your 50 millimeter. So uh, this is one I reviewed the other day. I want to go ahead and show you this one first. Uh, this one I love. I'm like kick, I'm kind of debating on keeping it. Not sure yet. But this is again the millipede done in the orange face. This is a quartz watch, of course. Uh, but this one here has that beautiful orange, like sunburst face, super bright, very iconic to what a diet lot of dive watches have. Orange is, uh, I guess, when they've done some studies as far as which is the most visible underwater. It is orange, and I've really kind of gotten into the dive that dive orange lately. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really beautiful on a watch. It just reeks dive watch, you know? Uh, again, the Millipede band, super thick, big, heavy, chunky bracelet. There's not many watches out there that you can find with bracelets this large. The only watches I've ever seen to date, again, are like the Oakley watches. Uh, some of the other watches that are reviewed by, God, I keep forgetting the name. I just looked it up the other day. Uh, ah, forget the name. Anyway, I did a video on it. Um, and then uh, some of the, your older, uh, what were they, Mark Echo watches had pretty big band. Uh, but this thing, I mean, you can't even, like, you know, there's different quality levels out there. And when I go looking at, like, my Mark Echo watch, which is like a, sh I got it years ago, like probably 20 years old. Uh, it's got a really thick band. It's a big shield kind of watch with, with uh, you know, stones around it. Still a cool looking watch. I've always liked it. Um, but when you compare it, I think that watch was close to, like, 250 bucks. When you compare the quality of, like, again, everybody has different opinions on what a fashion watch is, what a luxury watch is, but when you look at price point, I mean, if you were to pick this up, have this at your house right now, hold this in your hand, and me say, well, how much do you think that costs? You're going to go, you're going to push to $500. You're going to say, man, it must be at least five, $600. It's just amazing what they get, give you for your money. And this, 150 bucks. I mean, it's big, it's heavy, it's chunky. It's all 316L stainless steel, K1 crystal. Uh, CNC machine case. It's big. It's bold. It is beautiful. And if you're a guy who likes a big, w wide band on a watch, it's hard to find a bracelet on any watch, like I said out there, uh, or like I said previously, out there that is this big and bold. And it really is spectacular. I love the Millipede. It is one of my favorites. And I don't have one in polished stainless steel, so I don't know. I might. We'll see. So I just want to. I did a video on this the other day, but I do wanted to show you what it looks like on the wrist. Again, this is unsized. I may end up keeping it, and if I do keep it, I will size it and immediately do a video. But absolutely beautiful. And if you're not a fan of the orange, they make this particular one. This is a GMT version, and they made a lot of different versions of this watch, different movements, different faces. Uh, this one is available in red, blue, green, I mean black, the main colors, you know. So that's, I mean, that thing's awesome. So go right into two of my favorite watches. Again, two more millipedes. Uh, these ones here are their gemstone editions. Now, these are limited edition. I think only to 100 pieces, I think. Yeah, only 100 pieces each. 
they made it in a silver, all stainless steel. They made it in a yellow gold about to show you in the black. And I ended up keeping the black and the yellow gold because once they're gone, these are gone. And it's very difficult to find a gemstone watch for a man that the, of this quality for this price. Now you can have this, I believe they still have this one in the black and gold. Uh, again, links are in the description as always. And this is gonna cost you a little more because it's a limited edition. You do have that gemstone and it is an automatic watch. So let me just shut up for a second to show you what it looks like. Uh, done with that baby blue mother of pearl on the face. Uh, this one here is done in a white topaz. I believe there are 36 stones in this one here. Exhibition case back with the Seiko NH35 automatic movement. All yellow polished gold with your silver accents on the crown, of course, and on the band links. And each one of these links, these are actually threaded screws. So you don't have to worry about push pins or nothing. Very easy to size. Put a little micro, micro fiber cloth on there. Grab with a couple jeweler's pliers or if you have, you know, some needle nose, whatever you have. And just give it a little twist and very easy to size. Big, bold, and beautiful. I love this watch. And so again, on the wrist, let's check that out. I mean, just, it really is a flashy one. And again, I've reviewed all these before, so if I don't show you the watch as long as I normally do, uh, definitely check out my other videos. Go to my playlist, look for Aragon. You'll find all these watches in a more in-depth review. And without further ado, again, another favorite of mine, black and silver. Uh, they've done the mirror polished silver stainless steel bezel on 316L. They have your naturally your uh, baby blue mother of pearl face. I wish this one had a black mother of pearl face, but I think it would have been a nicer color combination on this. But still, uh, when you see it on the black, it does kind of take on a little bit of a darker kind of look. Hopefully, you can see that. Very pretty, lots of colors, very, very skyish looking. Uh, this is all uh, black spinel, 36 stones. Again, Seiko NH35 movement and done with that mirror polish black and silver with those links on the sides. I mean, again, black watch, flashy, you know what I mean? If this was just plain black, it wouldn't look as cool. But this one, you have the elements of the band. The mirror polishing is just an exquisite looking watch. All right, guys. Well, there it is. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you can want to get these, you got to do it pretty quick. I don't even know if these are still available. I'm pretty sure the gold one is for sure, but I'll put links in the description. Uh, man, if you don't have one of these, you, even if you don't get the gemstone one because you're like, yeah, I don't want to spend that much, pick up one of the GMT versions. They make other ones on the site as well. All links are in the description. Check it out. Let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, Aragon is just, they're just killing it, making some sick-ass watches for unbelievable, I mean, 150 bucks. I mean, it's just, it's amazing how they make any money doing this. I mean, it really is amazing. So check them out, guys. Aragon Watches. Uh, stay tuned for more. I got Aragon Watches coming every couple weeks. Uh, but, of course, these ones that I just share with you guys are my favorites. So uh, once again, guys, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Uh, getting close to the holidays, so happy holidays. Pretty cool. I always love this time of year. And uh, remember to check out my social network links in the description. And if you do make a purchase, please use my links. Even if you come back at a later date and do it, it does help to support the channel, and I greatly appreciate that. So you guys have a wonderful night, and take care.